those of you who've never tied before, tie. So I'm going to take the one element out of the tie thing, that's, that's the one element, that's the difficult bit, and that's the risk involved. Okay? That's how it's going to work. You see, ever since God created the world and God, everything God's done, he's always had a principle, a tithe principle in action. When God created the garden and said, Adam and Eve, here's a whole planet I've made just for you. God gave Adam and Eve a whole planet. That's a, that's a big gift. You know, I mean, I've given my son some great gifts before. I remember that one Christmas, you know, queuing from six in the morning to get a Nintendo Wii. I don't know if you ever remember years like that. Well, I thought I was pretty impressive, but God gave his children a whole planet. And he said, you can eat anything on any tree in this planet, but not that one. That's a pretty good deal, isn't it? And so Joshua invaded the promised land. God said, I've given you a whole nation. That's a pretty good deal. Imagine getting up for your birthday. What's my present this year, Dad? I've given you a nation. That's a pretty good present, isn't it? A nation. And God gave Joshua a whole nation, but the first city they took in that nation, God said, torch the law. You can take this, the gold and the silver and the food and the houses and the vines and everything good from every other city, but not that one. And so when God implemented to Abraham, when Abraham was increased greatly by his battles and by his life and God prospered Abraham, he took a tenth, one tenth, the word tithe means tenth. If you're giving 8% or 12%, it's not a tithe. Tenth and tithe are the same word. It's ten percent. He gave ten percent of his increase to Melchizedek. In other words, I'll enjoy this ninety percent which God's given me, but not that. And so the principle was in, in calculating it into the law of Moses. And people, oh, in the law of Moses there were three tithes. Yeah, there were. But one tithe was this gift tithe. One tithe was the income tax for the nation, because they're a nation as well as a religious group. That's what I think income tax should be, by the way, ten percent. That's a different story. <laughs> And um, the third time was actually a savings account. You, you tied for your third time, you saved it all up so you could go to have go to all the big parties all year. So we, what, the one we're talking about, the time we're talking about today, is the time you invest and sow the tenth of your income as a way of saying thank you, God, for the other 90%, and a way of honoring God. And so when you start to tithe, amazing things happen. Look what Jesus said about the tithe in Matthew 23. I'm just going to modernize the English a bit. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees. Man, you guys are in trouble because you're a bunch of hypocrites. You're a bunch of play actors. You're just you're show-offs. You tithe your mint and niece and cumin. Has anyone ever seen mint tiny little leaves? They were counting out the leaves and giving every tenth one to God. Man, that's devotion, isn't it? But you've omitted the weightier matters... Law, judgment, mercy, and faith. Now you see it's all about justice and mercy and faith. These you ought to have done, but not left the other undone. You see, the tithing is still there. The tithing is still important. The giving one tenth is still important because if you're not faithful in money, if you can't say, I trust you, God, for everything, then the Bible says that's the least of all in Luke 16. If you can't be that faithful in money, God says you can never be trusted with spiritual things. So this is a really important thing to become significant. So maybe you've never tied before. Maybe you've never got your income at the end of the month. Said, well, this is why I've got in this month. Um, Abel gave the first fruits to God. Cain said in the course of time, he eventually brought something. That's how a lot of people bring their offerings to God. Well, I'll pay that bill, or I'll pay that bill, and I'll sort that, and I'll sort this out, and whatever else, and I'll just take that, and that'll be the last. But this should be the first. Because this is the best, best investment you'll ever make for your money, is this time. And so, what I want to do today is I want to help you get the principle of tithing. And I want to help you understand why it's such a powerful thing. So, what I need first of all is I need an offering bucket. Can you pass me an offering bucket, Lee? Fantastic, thank you. Right. Okay, offering bucket. And I need three people who've got wallets with them. Any volunteers? People with wallets. Okay, come on then. This guy's got a wallet. Brilliant. You got cash in it? Come on then. Come on, Joshua. That's one. Right. You can stand here. Number one. Say number one. Number two. Okay. No problems. So you number one, you're number two, you're number three. Okay. You got all your wallets with you? Yeah, yeah. Okay, you got cash in them all? Yeah. Okay, we're going to do some maths now. Is everyone okay to do some maths? Okay. Lee, can I have those three envelopes, please? 
Thank you very much. That's how we sometimes see God. That's how the devil tries to get us to see God. Oh, God's trying to take something from me. No, he's trying to get something to you. Yeah. <laughs> Old Roberts had a young man. And this young man was earning $70 a week. And he was working very hard for that money. And he encountered all his ministry and got really blessed. And he started tithing to all Roberts' ministries. $7 a week. And this man was working at a company. He got promoted, got promoted again within 15 years. He was vice president of this company. He was the youngest vice president they ever had. And he was now earning $7,000 a week. But he was struggling to tithe. So he wrote a long letter to Oral Roberts saying about this. And Oral Roberts said, next time I'm in town, I'll come and meet you. And so he met him. And they were at this meeting. And he said, will you just pray with me? 
because I'm struggling to give $700 every week. I can give seven quite easily, but 700 is hard. And I all said, I will pray with you right now. Put his hand on his head and said, Lord, reduce this man's income to the level where he's comfortable tithing. <laughs> the boy was like, no, no, no. <laughs> because it works with fives, it works with tens, it works with twenties. Maybe if we did have oh, envelope number four with fifties, maybe someone actually find it a bit hard to give away a fifty. But I'm telling you now, tithing works. Tithing works. Now, I could, you know, you go into Old Testament, open the windows of heaven, the windows of heaven open, guys. What you're doing by tithing is you're proving stewardship. And you're proving you're honoring God. Now, we've got some red envelopes. You all got red envelopes today? Some people are going to be, why are the envelopes red? Next week, you can have the normal envelopes or you can have the red ones. I'm going to borrow that one from you. Sorry, sorry. Anything you give in the red envelope, if you make sure your num gift aid number's on it, or you give me your name and address, something that makes me know it's you, anything you give in these red envelopes this week and right the way through to July, if you've never tithed before, or if you have tithed and you stop stopped tithing, anything you give in these red envelopes, I will give back to you in July if you come to me and say, my life hasn't been changed. That is my promise to you. Okay? For 90 days, if this does, tithing does not change your life, if giving into the church does not change every aspect of your life, does not improve everything in your life, I will give it back to you. But it's got to be in the red envelope, because otherwise I can't record it. Okay, you come to, oh yeah, I gave a thousand pounds yesterday, brother, can I have it back? Okay, I'm not saying you're con men, but people have tried to con me before. So, red envelope, make sure you identify yourself clearly, but it's a test. The Bible says the only time God says in the whole scriptures is test me is when it comes to tithing. So I'm giving you the chance to test God. I'm taking, I'm putting a safety net under here because our philosophy, our culture in this church is every path forward is clear. And the only obstacle to you tithing, really, is I need this money. Well, now I promise you, you'll get it back in three months. So therefore, this should be the easiest decision you ever make. And you've already seen, it's not generous to put 20 pounds in there. When God just gave you 200, when someone just gave you 200, is it? So whatever you got this week in income, whatever you got this income, that was a gift from God. So I'm challenging you to be a tither today. I'm asking you to step up and be a tither. I know there's some great tithers in this church. I know, but there's no way we can do what we do without some of your generosity. It's amazing. I know that some of you are preaching to the choir, but I want everyone involved in this because it will change your life forever. And I only one other caveat to add to that is that in the next three months when you do give and you do tithe, that does change your life. I'd like to be able to write down your story, maybe even video it, and tell other people. Does that sound fair? Yes, sir. Okay, let's stand to our feet. We're going to make our offering declarations. Okay, you want to pay a check, it's Tree of Life Church. You want to give by PayPal, INFO at Tree of Life Church. Not so fast. INFO, info at Tree of Life Church, all the UK. And you can text TLC 12, 12 5 pounds, TLC 12, 10 pounds, 770. We've got a card reader there. You can also give online via the app. And also if you go to treeoflifedagnum.com slash donate.html. There you go, that was good, wasn't it? Um, you can actually, and some of you have asked for our bank details, they're also on the Tree of Life Dagon website on that donate page. So we, we just want to make it as easy as possible for you to give every path forward clear. I want you to get involved in this because it is life changing. Amen. As we make